Hello, my name is Nate. Welcome to my art channel. I'm doing another experiment tonight. I, for years, I've been watching uh, other artists do blooms, um, and I've resisted because, to be honest, I hate house paint. I don't like to wear gloves, and it's impossible to get off of your hands. Um, but I've been doing some research, and there's lots of people who've been getting really great results with um, regular acrylic paint. So I'm gonna give it a go here because I do love the blooms. So I'm going to see if I can accomplish the same thing without using any house paint. So um, I have some leftover, this little piggy pigments. I have sapphire, mermaid, and ore. And uh, I know that uh, from watching other artists, it's really a good idea to um, include some tube paints in there with the, uh, the pigment paints. So I've also got some Amsterdam ultramarine violet and I have some Amsterdam uh, permanent red violet. Uh, and those are uh, both uh, tube paints. Uh, and then for my cell activator, I do have some Aussie Floetrol. So I've mixed this up with um, some Amsterdam titanium white. And you can see from uh, the consistency here, it is a very thin consistency, three parts US Aussie Floetrol to one part paint. Um, all of these paints are the same consistency, but it is thicker than that. Uh, so I'll show you, hopefully you can see that it does run smoothly off of the stir stick uh, and it leaves a bit of a mound. So it's a bit of a medium consistency. And then for my pillow paint, I'm using uh, Chrome Acrylic Acrylic Essentials in white. It is a thicker consistency than all three of these, uh, but it does still run smoothly off of my stick. I have mixed this with my regular pouring medium, which is uh, two parts Floetrol to one part PVA glue and one part gloss varnish. And uh, all, these paints are all mixed with the same uh, pouring medium, but I have thinned them all down with a little bit of Josonia Flow Medium. It has a really good binder. It's very similar to GAC 800. So it has a really good binder, but it is thinner. So it does um, thin these out a bit. Um, actually, now that I'm looking at that one, that one, no, that's, that's right. Okay, good. So um, what I understand with this bloom technique is that uh, the magic happens because of the three different consistencies. The thickest on the bottom, the medium on in, in between, and, and then the thinnest on top. And what, what we want to do is uh, put down our pillow, don't spread it all the way out, um, layer these colors directly on top of each other, and then put this directly in the middle, the thinnest. And what we wanna do is use the hairdryer to blow this over top of the other colors and spread everything out. And, um, and this because this is thinner, but because it's a dense paint, um, it creates those beautiful cells and lacing. So this is my first attempt. I am not expecting a masterpiece. I'm, what I'm expecting to do here is learn something. I actually have uh, six of these 12 by 12 canvases. This is probably the smallest thing I, I, I paint on. I normally you know, paint on something twice this size. So hopefully I don't put too much paint on the canvas, but I think it's entirely possible. But um, I'm going to go ahead and get started then and move all of these out of the way. And we'll put down a my pillow paint, which again was the Chrome Acryl Acrylic Essentials. And I'm gonna put, that is probably too much, but we'll see. So I'm gonna let that spread out naturally. One of the other reasons why I like this idea you know what, maybe I need more than that. I'm gonna put more than that. There we go. Well, another reason why I like this idea of using regular house paint is I wanna be able to use my torch to pop the air bubbles, um, which is not recommended with house paint. Okay, and so we're gonna go ahead and do that now. I'll probably torch several times because I just mixed up these paints. Um, but. If you've watched my channel before, you know air bubbles don't really bother me, so I'm not worried about that so much. Okay, so let's layer some colors. I think I'm gonna start with the sapphire. Boy, that is a beautiful color. So we're gonna put a little bit right here in the center. Maybe a little more than that. 
Okay, now I want a tube paint. I think I'm gonna go with the ultramarine violet on top of that. A little bit there. Okay, now let's go with the mermaid on top of the violet. Oh, that's already pretty. Oh, I like that a lot, actually. That's a great color combo. Okay, I'm gonna put the ore directly on top of that because I want to finish with the tube paint. That's another thing that I've noticed is it's a, always recommended that you don't end with a pigment, you end with a tube paint. Your cell activator will work better with that, that way. Okay, I'm not used to working with such small amounts of paints. I hope that's enough, but if it's not, that's okay. It's something that I will learn. I'm gonna try and keep that centered. Torch again. And we're gonna add our cell activator. Right there in the center. Oop, I can tell it's the right consistency because it's creating a little halo already. Okay. My hair dryer that I've been using for five years, I think it's pretty strong. So I'm gonna start from very high up and um, I'll probably put on some music for you now so you don't have to listen to the sound of my hair dryer. Here we go. Okay, well, I was right, my hair dryer was really strong. And I think maybe I didn't have enough pillow paint.
okay, you know what? I'm not mad. This is actually pretty good for, this is better than I was expecting for my first attempt. Let's go ahead and look at some of these beautiful cells here in the center. Wow, that worked out amazing. I think I have my consistencies correct. Now I just gotta work on getting the right amount of paint. Ooh, look at it over there. I, I, you know what? The softness is one of the things that I love about the blooms. Kind of almost that watercolor effect in the, the petals. Look, I even got some beautiful cells all the way out here. These cells there are great. Okay, all right. Let's give this a try again. And let's layer the colors a little differently. And I'll see if I can't um, control that, um, that blowout a little better this time. But you know what? It's not so bad. Some of these look like um, dragonfly wings or something. Okay, good. All right, next one coming right up.
Okay, that second one was a bit of a disaster. So um, I think I'm gonna put the hair dryer away. And this time I'm gonna try blowing it out by mouth. I use my breath instead of the hair dryer. I think I need something a little bit um, less powerful. That hair dryer works great for me for things like uh, Dutch pours and that kind of thing. But for this, it goes kind of a bit of a madness there. <laughs> Pop some air bubbles. I mixed up some more base coat here, some pillow paint here. Uh, so I'm going to, I also liked the color scheme on the first one better. So I'm gonna go back to that and um, just use more of it. Start with the sapphire, and I believe the next one was the ultramarine violet. Again, I'm going to use a, uh, more paint this time. And after that was the mermaid. This time's probably going to be too much paint. Oh well, that's fine. Running out of the ore. Might want to get some more of this. Or mix up some more of this for next time. Because I do love that color. Okay, and then we're ending with a permanent red violet. That, I believe, is a bigger puddle. Okay. Now... Oh, also on the second one, I add a little more titanium white to my cell activator to thicken it up just a little bit to see if it made a difference. And I definitely liked it thinner. So I've added some more Aussie flow troll to this again. Get it back to that thinner consistency. Maybe a little more. Okay, there we go. I wonder if I can blow this out to where my head isn't in the way of your being able to see it. Maybe if I come over to this side. Okay. Interesting. Okay. Got a little into the pillow paint here, but the rest of it blew out better. I think I'm gonna like that better than using the uh, hair dryer, at least for now. Okay. I was thinking maybe I might wreck this one, but I like it just as it is. Let's just put that back in the center. And then we'll add some more flow extender around. Give ourselves a nice wet surface to work on. And because there's no house paint here, I should be able to scrape up all of this paint and use it for base coats later flow extenders.
attempt number three. And I have to tell you, I really enjoyed blowing it out with my mouth rather than with the hair dryer better. I definitely got more petals that way. It definitely looks more floral. And I still got lots of really good cells and lacing. Look at that in there, isn't that beautiful? I got some of that watercolor blending out in the outer areas. I even got some cells out here too. Isn't that pretty? I wonder if that's because of my chroma curl base and I'm getting those cells. I guess I should call it a, um, a pillow instead of a base. But lots of shimmer in there. That's gonna be really pretty. Okay. So here are the dry results. Oh, I hung them up a little crooked there. <laughs> I just put a couple of tacks in the wall and, and uh, hung them up and didn't even look to see if they were level. That's right, I'm not level either. <laughs> this is the first one I did and I love the cells and lacing in the center. Really vibrant and perfect little beans. I think it's beautiful. I'm not so happy I got lots of cells and lacing on the outside too, but um, I don't like the color intensity. It got a little washed out out here on the outside edge. And I did this one with the hair dryer. Uh, and then this one is the one that I blew out by mouth. And I like the color intensity of this much better. It definitely looks more like it has petals, like it's a flower. And the cells and lacing in the center are nice. I like that. I like the other one better, but I think that's good too. Um, these cells and lacing out here on the outside edge there are really cool. I love that. I got like a little, a couple of bolder cells happening out here and out here. Yeah, I think I overall, I think I prefer the third one instead of the first one. The second one, we're not even gonna talk about. I'm just gonna paint over that someday. <laughs> but the first and third, I like both of these. I think these are both cool. Let me know which ones you prefer. In my next video, I'm going to do a little experiment. So I hope you check in with that one. Now that I kind of understand that I can use, um, or I can make blooms without house paint, I realized I can kind of combine this with other techniques. What else can I bloom on? So um, I have something really fun planned and I hope it works out, but I hope you come back and watch that too. Uh, so if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you'd like to see more and go mix up some paints and be fearless.